Let's face it, the phrase homeowner's insurance isn't nearly as exciting as phrases like series finale of Lost or Kardashian sisters clash. But when it comes to protecting the place you call home, it's a phrase you really need to know and understand. Your home is probably your biggest investment, and if you're a mature and sensible adult like me, or rather, my sister, then you know how important it is to protect the place you and your family live. You can legally own a home without having insurance. That would be rather unwise and leave yourself open to potential disaster. So I'm here today as your informed citizen to make sure you are covered. I was curious to see what the average person knew about homeowner's insurance, so I sat down with Julie and Paul, two very responsible adults, and asked them some questions about their policy. Yes, we have homeowner's insurance. I'm pretty sure that to get the mortgage papers, we had to get homeowner's insurance. Our policy covers, uh, let's see, lots of stuff like, like hail damage to our roof, which we know has happened in our area, and it covers, what else? Fire. Oh, it covers fire if we have a huge fire when someone plays with matches. Water leaks uh, inside the house. Yeah. And I think it also would cover um, theft if we had a major <laughs> burglary. Yeah. Though their list is a bit disorganized, Julie and Paul do give a few good answers. Typically, homeowner's insurance covers you for fire, wind, hail, theft, and other disasters covered in your policy. Now, what about what's not covered? What's not covered? Um, <laughs> water from outside the house, that'd be flood insurance, which is completely different. Um, balls rolling and hitting the house, I'm not sure. <laughs> balls rolling and hitting a baby. I totally didn't mean to hit the baby with a ball. I thought she could catch. Typically, you are not covered for earthquake and floods, and you have to buy that kind of insurance separately. I wonder if they have earthquake or flood insurance. Flood or earthquake insurance? Uh, we don't have either of those. Flood insurance mainly because we're not in a floodplain, and earthquake insurance mainly because we don't think we're in an earthquake zone. Although it could happen, you never know. Indeed it could. Even if you don't live in a classified floodplain, you should still consider the peace of mind and protection you get with the coverage. Because after all, a flooded home is no place to raise a baby. Now I wonder if they know about liability coverage. Oh, liability coverage. I think I know what that is. If someone has an accident on our property and it's something major that needs medical attention or something of that nature, uh, we won't be held personally responsible for those injuries. Our homeowner's insurance would cover it. Good answer! Now, how about additional living expenses coverage? That would be, say for instance, if our house got damaged in a flood or in a fire, and we had to live someplace else for a while, they would cover the expenses that we would incur while living elsewhere. Like would that be a hotel and food, food maybe, clothing? Clothing, yeah. 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 Almost. These expenses are only covered if the disaster that kicked you out is covered by your policy. Fire yes, flood no, unless you have flood insurance. Now, what would you do if your home is damaged by something covered by your policy? If our home is damaged by something covering our policy, we first thing we do is try to prevent further damage to the house. Say, for instance, if it's raining outside and suddenly we have a hole in our roof, we need to prevent more water from entering the hole. Um, second thing would be to call our insurance agent and then uh, go from there. Perfect! I'm so proud of them. This makes my job of explaining tedious insurance info so much easier. Final question. How often do you update your policy? When it comes to updating our policy, ideally we should probably do it every year, update, look at everything. But in reality, since we bought our house almost six years ago, we haven't looked at our policy. Well, besides our daughter, our home is definitely our biggest investment and it's something that we want to protect and need to protect. Very true. Understanding and having the right kind of coverage is essential to home ownership. It seems like they have a little bit of homework to do to get up to date on their policy. How about you? For more information about this and other insurance topics, check out the Insurance Information Institute at iii.org.